what's going on everybody? I'm going to teach you how to play Loafers, the ukulele version by Boy With Uke. This song actually doesn't have any ukulele, so this is actually considered like an acoustic version, I guess, of this song. But everybody's been requesting it and wanting to know how to play it on ukulele, even though there's no ukulele in that song. So I figured out the chords and we're going to go ahead and get into it. Um, I have a couple announcements to... Uh, or a couple of things I want to talk about before we get to it, but if you don't care about any of that stuff, you can look at the video sections and skip right to the chords and then just start learning. But if you do care about that stuff, I want to announce that uh, tomorrow my song Two Headed Monster is coming out on Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube Music, so go check that out. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, I've been looking forward to posting that song. And also, I have these custom painted ukuleles. Uh, you can request whatever design or anything in my Etsy shop, which is also linked down below, and so is my Spotify. And uh, if you guys want more than just YouTube videos, you can check out my Instagram where I post uh, random stuff, and then my TikTok where I post random stuff, usually playing the ukulele or doing covers and things like that. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So. Let's go learn the song. All right, we're back in our super close-up angle so you guys can see the chords. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this song is a little bit difficult. The chords are all kind of bar power chords. Um, it's kind of what happens when you try to find the chords for like a piano or something and then try to transition it to a ukulele. It makes them a little bit harder to play, but um, once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty easy and it flows pretty nicely. Um, the chords are gonna be right here but I'm also gonna to try to explain where you put your fingers. So the first chord in this song is a D sharp minor, which is this string, this string, and then these two in the third fret. I usually put my pinky on the bottom and then my ring finger up top. But because the other chords in the song are bar chord, I actually play this one as a bar chord. So instead of just putting my finger on this first string, I just bar the whole first fret and all the other fingers stay the same. So basically, just like on the chart, you wanna make sure you get this string on the bottom, the second string in the second fret, and then the top two strings in the third fret. And that's D sharp minor. The next chord is a B, which is a bar chord, which is why I play this chord like this, because then you can just slide over here and you just bar the second fret Put your second finger on the second string first fret after the bar, and then your third finger on the top string second fret from the bar. And this is a B. And then the chord after that is an F sharp. So you slide back to the front. It's this whole thing barred right here in the first fret. And then your middle finger goes on the third string second fret, and your third finger goes on the first string third fret. And that's an F sharp. And then the next chord is a C sharp, so keep this all barred. And then put your pinky on the fourth string, fourth fret. And that's a C sharp. So, in order, this whole song is just D sharp minor, B, F sharp, and C sharp. And I just play this all with one strumming pattern and we're gonna go ahead and get to that. So I found um, this strumming pattern to kind of go good if you're playing along with the song, it kind of keeps up with the tempo and the rhythm. But uh, for the verses, you could just do a slow down, 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 like keep it down on four beats. And then on the chorus, you do the one that I just do the whole song. Or you can just do both. You can do one the whole song, you can do the other one the whole song, but Either way, the uh, strumming pattern is personal preference, but I like to do the down, down, up, up, down, up, and it plays on each chord twice. So you would do down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up on the D sharp minor, and then you do down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up on the B, and then down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up on the F sharp, and then down, down, up, up, down, up, down, C sharp. And what I mean by uh, switching up for the verses, uh, if you don't want to do the down, down, up the whole time, you can just do down, 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 down. That way, once you
you get to the chorus, it sounds a little more intense. And then you get back to the verses and just do. But that's just if you want to add a little uh, difference in the strumming pattern to make the song sound a little different when you play. But like I said, the strumming pattern is personal preference. That's the cool thing about playing a ukulele on a song that doesn't even have it. It's all just custom at that point. But yeah, let's go ahead and try to play this song a little bit. I'll see you on the TV. <laughs> oh man, that's that's what we're gonna do because uh, I I need to learn these lyrics better. Maybe I'll do a cover of this song if you guys want me to. But that's the little chorus part. We tried, we tried. <laughs> I hope this helped you guys learn how to play loafers. Hopefully you guys like the little ukulele version that I was able to come up with. And let me know if you guys get to do it yourselves. See you in the next tutorial. A creature to it sleeping into bed is it sweet or is it dead?